hard to put into words what the last six years and the promise of a lifetime together mean to me. All I can say is that I feel so blessed to have someone that is so unconditionally devoted to me. You have always been there for me, and now that we will be with each other forever, I am not worried what will come our way. You make everything better, and with the bond that we have, I know nothing will be able to break that bond. That's all I could ever ask for. You are the love of my life, and I am so blessed that on this amazing day, that I am finally able to call you my wife. You support me in all of my dreams, hold me accountable, and always know how to make me smile. I can't wait to celebrate forever with you. Here's to a lifetime of my cold hands in your warm one, forehead kisses, and just a little of your spice to life. Love you always, Allie. Allie and Eric started dating. I wasn't very nice to Eric, and I think some of you in the room may know that, and some of you have heard the story, I know. But I was not very nice to Eric at all, and I kind of ignored him. Um, didn't really look at you very much when he came in, didn't really say hi to you much, kind of I told you cry. really ignored you. Dad, I can't cry, my makeup looks good. Stop, Dad, I'm gonna cry if you cry. You look so beautiful. Hey, did I tell you? I love you. I love you too. And so Shelly, in all her wisdom, comes to me one day and she says, Hey, Matt, you might want to be nice to Eric. And I said, Honey, don't worry, I got this all figured out. I said, I only need to be nice to the last one. I don't need to be nice to any of the ones in between. She looked at me very deadpan and she goes, How do you know he's not the last one? I said, You know, I never thought of that. I said, Maybe I ought to change my ways. So after that, I was a little bit nicer to you, wasn't I, Eric? go way back like 16 years we actually met in kindergarten and we knew we would be best friends because both of us love to go hunting and fishing when we went to the high school as freshmen we still hunted and fished every chance we got now sophomore year rolled around and Eric told me he was dating this girl named Allie at first I didn't really know what to think of Allie because now every time I asked Eric to hang out or go hunting and fishing, he would say, sorry man, I already made plans with Allie. <laughs> I would throw out a comment like, who have you known longer? <laughs> but that never worked because we all know the girlfriend always takes priority over a buddy you've known for almost your entire life. Once I got to know Allie and her family, I soon realized that she brings out the best in Eric. Watching them grow together in faith has shown me how strong a relationship can be. Eric and Allie, always keep God at the center of your marriage, because if you do, great things will happen. Keeping your faith strong will help you get through those tough times. Relationships aren't crystallized moments in time. They aren't memories you pull out of a box and look at on special occasions. I can't tell you a single concrete story about what growing up with Allie was like any more than I could tell you one story that could convey the fullness of her and Eric's relationship. 
Weddings are like memories. They happen and they're wonderful and then they pass. But marriage is a relationship. It's a lifetime spent together that you can't contain in just one story. Ali and Eric, I love you both so much. And I wish you all the best as you go forward and make a million new stories together. But more importantly, as you make a life together. These past six years have been the best of my life, and I am so happy that I have been able to share them with you. I will never forget this day, just like I'll never forget the feeling of when I first saw you. I choose you.